Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Planet Crafter. Yep, in this game we've been terraforming this barren, horrible looking planet into this, a nice looking Earth-like planet. And so far we're doing okay. This is our base all the way up there. You can see there's trees growing about, there's water on the surface, there's even some plants and stuff about. And since my last video I had a bit of a, I did a little bit of a stream. And you, you may have noticed over this way, the stairs are now gone, almost, uh, because I really needed all of that iron. So you might be wondering, Matt, how the hell do you get up to your base? It's all the way up there. Well, let me show you. If you come over to this, you can actually jetpack up this edge. So I built those stairs for nothing. We can literally just fly up, and I'm pretty sure it's quicker. So into our base, how are the eggplants doing? The eggplants are doing well. Yeah, I also have, I have lots of things. I've got loads of rods. Uh, so I figured we may as well build some nuclear reactors, I think. So I think we need three rods for that. So I need to build one more. So if I take nine uranium, we can go and craft those on this machine over here into a uranium rod. There it is. Lovely. You can see we also need three water, one super alloy and one explosive powder. So we'll take the explosive powder. We'll take the super alloy. And then before we head down, we will just check what our power is. We've got 300 kilowatts per hour. <laughs> I hate saying that out loud. <laughs> but we have 316 of those available. So if we go build two new nuclear power stations by going over to these two things, grabbing some water that they've been generating. And then over this way, where our line of nuclear power plants are, we can we can just build some more. So one there and one there. Lovely. You can also see as well down here, this is where we built those tree spreader things last time. Uh, this has made like one little tree. I swear there was more last time I was here. But yeah, one, one big tree and a few very, very small trees. And then the other one I planted over on this island, it seems to have made all these weird trees. Like they're sort of like weird palm trees. But anyway, if we were to look straight up, there is our base. I've actually found out there's quite an easy way to travel like high up in the air. If I press F4, that's like an unstuck button. So we can tap it and we sort of, we jump up in the air. If we mash F4, we go flying into the air. So we can just get up into our base like this. Just mash the F4 button. Oh no, we're going to hit our head. We're going to hit our head. No. It's okay. With unstuck, you go straight through it. Now checking the power, we've got nearly a thousand kilowatts available. And considering we're only using 2,300, that's pretty good. But yeah, this number's going up far too slowly. I want to get to the next stage. I, we probably won't be able to, to be honest. But I think we don't really have any anything. So I'm going to build a load of T4 drills. I'm going to build a load of heaters. We might do some more tree spreaders and all sorts. We have the resources to build a T4 heater. So we'll build that in a second when we go outside. To build a drill, I just need six super alloy and three osmium. And while we're up here, we've also got this, the blueprint microchip. So we may as well decode that and see what we have. We didn't do that last time. So decode GPS satellite T3. Oh, that will allow us to zoom out even further. So over here, this is our mapping screen. This is how far we can zoom out currently. Now, you can see, you can't really see too far. I'd love to, like, see my bridge and stuff. I wonder what we need to do that. Let's jump down to this launch platform and we can see what we need for the E3 satellite. Rocket engine, osmium, super alloy rod, and microchip compasses. Okay, we can do that. But uh, for now, let's let's plant these things. So I want to I wanna try and get the numbers up. So shove a drill there. Shove another one there. Shove another one there. Shove a heater about there. Oh man, I forgot how big the heaters are. All right, so hopefully that should be making numbers fly up. That's all the resources we've got on us. So we'll head up to my base. We'll just grab some supplies and then we're going to go for a wander. I want to show you what I did on stream. It was a good two hours, but I think you'll be impressed. Oh, really? Look at it. So I literally spent like hours and hours <laughs> building this on the resources uh, and it's fully 3D now. Let's go, let's go walk along it. Check this out. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a bridge. It's actually a bridge. And the best thing is it goes all the way. I don't know if you remember like last time I was struggling to like get pieces of these like in the rock and stuff, like, especially like those bits. Can you see us like well in the rock? And, like if we go down to the bottom, Look, I've managed to completely build properly. So basically, I found this glitch. So basically, in this game, if you want to build something, particularly living compartments, you can build them most places, but some places you can't. It goes red. However, can you see as I move down? 
if you if you press it right you can build it it goes green so yeah that's basically what i did the entire like doing all the awkward bits oh i've just realized i'm about to die oops i need i need oxygen I think we need to do a bridge review. So it's a huge cable stayed bridge, plenty of headroom underneath with cross bracing and all sorts under here. There's a convenient vine that you can jump up to the top. And if you happen to be walking along your bridge and you run out of oxygen, you can just head into one of these handy compartments. Now the cables are not only robust, but they allow easy maintenance because they're actually stairs. So we can head up to here, do some maintenance and head back down easy as you like. The downside is it doesn't really have a purpose and it sort of took me like way too many hours. I'm, I don't even want to work out how long it took me, but I'm going to give it a 9.3 out of 10 bridge review. GPS satellite T3. There it is. Let's give it a launch. And then let's ride this thing out of the storm. Oh, it's got a point on it. But we are riding this thing out of here. Oh, no, it fell off. Oh, oh, no, we're literally riding. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Right. I think you're going the wrong way, mate. You want to go up? You want to go up? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Don't zoom in. Don't show that, editor. Don't show that. And now with our new satellite, we can zoom out even further. Wow, that really, that doesn't go very far, if I'm honest, does it? Yeah, but we can see like areas of interest. So we've got like, oh, is that where Zeolite is? So there's Osmium down there. That's the super alloy one, the one with the door we've seen a few times. All right, where are we now? This is like a huge wall. Can we get up there? We might have to glitch our way up. Oh, where are we now? I don't, I don't know if I recognize this place. Is this new? What is this? I don't think I've seen this before. Oh no, we're gonna die. I need to try and find a thing to work out where I am. There's a box there. Oh, we're above. Oh, look. We're above this. Okay, remember that. All right, so if we head up this way. Yeah, this looks like where we were because it's got the, the stone arches. So this is all my stuff from where I died. So we'll grab all of that. And then if we jump down here, there should be... Ah, it's so... So sandy. Here we go. We've got my living compartment. If we just build like a locker to store everything, I need to so in here. We'll build a locker. We'll shove everything we've got into that. And then we'll try and get back up the sand wall. Oh man, it's like you can really see how tall it is now. All right, here we go. Here we go. So we can go over wander. Looks like there's there's loads of boxes about. That's cool. We'll grab those on the way back if we if we have time. But I want to go check out this crashed spaceship. All right, so what have we got? Do we deconstruct to get in? Oh no, we just we just go in. Let's turn that on. Deconstruct heater. Where's where's a heater? Okay, I've just deconstructed a heat. Oh, was it up there? I think it was up here. Down here. Ah, oh, here's where the heaters are. So we'll grab all of those. Three heaters. That means we've got loads of rods. Let's drop all the we'll drop all the resources we don't care about at the moment, like iron, silicon, titanium. All right, more satellites. Anything down this end? Or oh, there's, there's another heater. There is another heater. All right, our oxygen is low, so we probably need to get out of this place. All right, we are going to die, though. So can we get somewhere sensible or at least memorable? Uh, ah, let's just go. We'll, we'll be back in this corner. All right, I really need to craft some oxygen tanks. <laughs> this is really annoying. But in the back corner, here's our stuff. So we'll grab all of that. Then I think we've explored everything in here. So we'll try and head back out without dying. Oh, no, there's another one. There's another one with more good stuff. All right, we might have to come back for another journey. I've got to get out, though. So back down into the sand, then into here. I mean, I think we're going to have to do two trips because there's so much good stuff I want to take with me. All right, so I think that will do. We'll take the uranium because I like uranium. And uh, I guess we'll try and head back as soon as we can to collect all those resources. That was fun, though. I didn't realize there was, like, multiple new locations. The only question is, can I actually get back in time without dying? But yeah, I tell you what, I would love to build that blooming teleporter right now. This is annoying. Our base is literally as far away as it could be. But we're nearly there. We can see, we can just about see the testicle of our base. And as long as we don't take any full damage, I think we should be okay for health. We should be able to get up there and eat some eggplant. All right, so let's shove the uranium in that locker. And then quickly eat some eggplants. Make the pile bigger. And then we can do the same thing again because we've got a whole new inventory to go and grab. So whilst I spend 20 minutes doing this, you guys just sit back and relax because you're probably going to get warped forward in time by about 25 minutes. 
and I'm going to be very jealous of you all. Oh, right, after all that work, I need to I need to chill out a bit. I need to focus on something else, take my mind off it. Ah, oh, there we go. That's better. That always cheers me up looking at that. <laughs> One other thing I wanted to do before we do anything else. There's a little secret that you guys told me about in the comments. And basically, I need to head back to where our first base was. Now, thankfully, my base is easy to find. Can you see up there? That is what I call the North Star. Uh, it, it allows me to get my bearings whenever I'm lost. So we'll just head towards that for now. All right, here we are. You can see my original staircase to the heavens. We can follow that down to the bottom, and that's where our original base was. Now, as you can see, this is very much underwater, but I've been told somewhere in this lake on this wall, there's a deconstructible wall. And we're looking for a wall that we can deconstruct. Oh, oh, there it is, there it is. Deconstruct Rex. So, deconstruct. And we're in an underwater cave, and look. <gasps> Dead body! And a note and some loot. Oh, what the? Pulsar Quartz? That's the first time we've seen that. Okay, grab all of that stuff. You sent me here to die. I knew it was impossible, right? That was some guy from before us. He didn't quite make it. But uh, but we're thriving here. So it's not impossible, mate. You just, you just got to engineer yourself a bit better. However, our oxygen is very, very low. Now, oh yes, there's a living compartment there. If we can just get to the door in time. Come on. Ah, oh, breathe, Matt, breathe. But nice, so we'll head back to our base once again. That was super successful, but we're back. We'll head inside. I guess we'll just shove stuff in lockers. So, oh, three uranium rods. Banging. Shove my rockets and explosive powder. Oh, man, I got so much stuff. This is awesome. We've also got five iridium rods now. So basically, that was just a really successful day. Let's see... When do we unlock the teleporter? 25 GTI. Oh, that's going to be quite a while. The tree spreader T2 is... Ooh, 7.5 ppm. We're at 7.41, so that will be unlocked soon. Nice, let's decode these blueprints. Map information's rocket. I thought I already had one of them. All right, there's nothing to decode. So we've got all the unlocks. So I guess in my secret locker, we'll put the blueprint microchip. Right, let's build some more drills and stuff. Because annoyingly, we can't actually build a nuclear fusion reactor. We've only got four pulsar quartz. We need five. Uh, but just from the way it looks, I think we're going to need them for the teleporter anyway. All right, so two more heaters. One can go there. One can go there. I did just want to check that map information thing. Yeah, I already had that unlocked. Because that displays points of interest on map. Why have I unlocked that twice? It makes no sense. Anyway, if we check our navigation, because we can zoom all the way out, is there... Oh, look, there's osmium down there. And there's osmium over there. I think we've actually got the osmium from both of those, but we can build a new mine in there. To be honest, I got so much super alloy, I might go all the way to the other end of the map again so I can deconstruct that super alloy mine. Because so I think, yeah, the ore extractor T2, it needs three osmium. Oh, we've just unlocked the, the tree spreader, T2. So what does that need? Ooh, we can actually build... Look how much oxygen that gives you. 1950. I right, tell you what, I might build one of them first because then we're making all that oxygen. So we're basically saving time. So, ah, it's really, really misty. All right, and then tree spreader, T2. I assume... Oh, these don't go on water. These just go any... Oh, great. Because the T1s only went on water and I didn't like that. All right, okay, let's shove this like... There-ish, I guess. And now do we need to put... Yeah, we need to put a tree seed in there. Yep, there it is. Tree seed Amora. So what we'll do before we actually place that in there, I just want to do one thing. Well, two things, really. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I had to. I literally had to. I've barely done this shape in this whole series. But yeah, now we can plonk the seed in there. And that is going to spurt seed everywhere creating new trees which is a little lovely right so we'll leave that doing its thing we're gonna go pick up the miner so we'll head into here and hopefully i don't regret this but uh, basically i've got to remove all those resources and then deconstruct that extractor and then we'll head back but i'm actually gonna go i'm gonna go left first because do you remember last time there was that satellite i think i left it full of stuff so if we open the wrecks yeah we got loads of new stuff so we'll grab all of that stuff and then our inventory is nearly full. We can head back. And we want to head back via the closest osmium cave. I think there was one somewhere around here. This is like the, the spiky rock area. Very aptly named by myself. Is it here? 
Oh, look, there's lots of iridium this end. Yes, that's osmium. That is osmium. So if we build a T2 extractor there, it should tell us. Yes, osmium. Nice. So we'll fill up the remainder of our inventory with osmium. Oh, man, this cave is actually huge. There's loads of osmium here. Okay, this is awesome. I'm glad we made this journey, although I am a bit lost. Where's, where's the exit? Where's the exit? All right, here we go. We're out. We are out. Oh, here it is. Here, no, what? Wait, what the? This isn't mine. Oh, someone's... We found someone's area. No, they're all broken. No. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to come back here. Look, it's someone's starting area. Oh, there's loads of good stuff, but we're going to die. We're going to die. Right, remember the rocks with a flat thing on it. Okay, where are you? We're under the North Star. Okay. All right, quick slurp of water through this cave again. I assume it hasn't mined anything yet. Oh, it has mined one. We'll have that. And then we're trying to work out where I died so I can get my stuff back. It's got to be around here somewhere. Is that it? Yes. Yes. Sweet. Okay, we got it. Oh, look, here's my living compartment. So this is the one I thought I was finding. Oh, so we've got a whole new one over there to explore. Cool. That is cool. We'll have to go do that at some point. But for now, I think I just want to get back safely. I'm quite intrigued to see how my new tree spreader has done. I mean, it looked super efficient. And as we get closer... Oh, I see trees. I see new trees. Yes, look at that. Look at that. Good work, machine. Very, very efficient of you. All right, so we're home. Let's just sort out our stuff. Finally build those drills that I wanted to build. Two of those. Lovely. And then we can see the numbers are flying up. Look how far we've got. Oh, <laughs> 1%. <laughs> anyway, we've still got 500 kilowatts to play with, so I guess we can just build more stuff, and hopefully those numbers will go up quicker. Uh, we're very close to the teleporter. Sort of. We're, we're halfway there. Okay, we're halfway to the teleporter. <laughs> but hopefully next time, we might be able to build that. Who knows? And we'll go explore that new cool area as well. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to go tend to my eggplants, and I'll say peace, love, and a massive pile of eggplants. Bye, guys. Take it easy.